All right. Cool. Uh, so uh, what's happened here? Uh, the um, the last few bits has kind of come into play uh, here, and uh, I've. Uh, it's essentially the playfield is ready to be married with, with the with the game uh, again. But uh, I just thought I would uh, show a few things here. Kind of, there's a huge benefit having the game running like in the rotisserie uh, before assembling the full thing, right? And uh, uh, one of those benefits are like if you want to do like quick switch switch adjustments uh, to like the jet jet scoops, the spinners, uh, what have you. It's re just really easy to kind of just turn it around, right? And and when you have the playfield in the, in the game, you kind of have to lift it, find the right angle, how to work with things, and so so this is something that I usually do uh, when I have the game playfield because taking the playfield out of the game is like a royal pain in the ass, right? And and why not uh, use the rotisserie while you have it? Uh, today I, I, I've been on it basically all day today, and I'm gonna. It, it, Take the camera off the, uh, the 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 tripod and kind of show you around what's bit, bit, what, what's been going on here. Um, so, so I've been putting the plastics, uh, flattening the plastics, putting the plastics together, polished all the metals and 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 so forth. And uh, just let me get this thing off here and I'll show you what's been going on here. Um, So the game is basically fully uh, running uh, at the moment, and uh, I just need to see what, what's in focus here, yeah. And uh, all the chrome is uh, really shining, uh, the plastics uh, have been flattened as good as they can, and some, some are still a bit wonky around the um, uh, where the flashes are, but I'm just going to have to live with that. Um, the ramp it doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. Uh, this is the black one. The original is supposed to be a chrome one, uh, which is a little bit unfortunate, but uh, that's kind of what we, uh, what I have. And I couldn't find any other aftermarket chrome ones. And since my speaker panel uh, on the game itself is also the wrong one, which is black, so we can call this uh, Black Laser War uh, to just make sure um, everything is kind of aligned according to the theme. Uh, I do need a, a black apron then <laughs> to kind of fulfill that because the apron is really shiny, it's, uh, it's chrome. It's really blingy, got really nice uh, mirror finish on it. And uh, as, as I said, like the, the game is uh, fully running. It's not like Welcome, you can't really do much with it because the angle is all wrong. Uh, but at the end of the day, the game is fully running. I can take a ball here. There's no plunger, of course, so I can kind of test like all the switches, making sure everything works, making sure the spinners are working, all the ejects are ejecting the ball as supposed to do, and I also do like some final adjustments to the lights if there's any lights not coming out. Test the slingshot. Do the slings work? They fire. Yeah, perfect. Uh, Another thing is just like, does the laser kick work? Yeah, I need to do a ramp shot first, right? There we go. Laser kick is lit. Does it work? Does it fire properly? Yeah. Works just great, right? So... And the speaker is working as well, the display is working, everything is up and running, so I just have to lift this thing in the playfield, lift the playfield into the back box and uh, we should be up and running. So uh, that was pretty much it, uh, there's not really much else to talk about, uh, I did uh, a few mistakes, <laughs> uh, I put the decals upside down on the spinners which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, so don't do that mistake as I did. Uh, make sure that you kind of hold the spinner weighted uh, to, to make sure what's up and down on it. It doesn't, it doesn't always make uh, a ton of sense what's up and down. Uh, I also managed to g get rid of the, uh, uh, the bump uh, from the um, uh, inlane ball guide uh, when I kind of rotated the whole flipper mech that uh, made that whole problem go away but I'm also going to play around a little bit more 
uh, with that once I get the play field in, get the machine leveled as I, have, as I wanted. Uh, because when you get the, the Cliffy in-lane guides, uh, you get additional play to move and rotate the metallic piece. So you can get a really nice flow coming from the in-lane, feeding to the flippers. So it should be absolutely perfect. And, and, and that allows for uh, to do a, a few adjustments before you kind of tighten it. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm very happy how everything came out except my upside down decals, but uh, I'm gonna see if I can find another set and have those replaced. And uh, then we're just ready to play the game. And I'm actually quite excited to get started doing that. And uh, I'll just head over to the actual game and.